In this tutorial, we are going to look at uh, color picker. Uh, as you can see, you can pick the color or you can select the custom colors. And you can set new colors. It might be useful for certain applications. Let's start the project. That's fine. Here, let me copy a package in front of uh, FX of documents. Let me add title. It is 42. Topic is uh, color picker. Let's open FXML with uh, same builder. Let me remove button and label. Let's go to controls and look at color picker, drag and drop. I need uh, something, um, let's say go to shapes. Let me drag and drop circle. Make it slightly smaller. So when I select the color, it will change the color of the circle. Here I will say circle, low case. I'm going to use a color picker as an object name or FX ID. One action I will say handle color picker. So that's a simple way of designing a color picker. So here, let me remove label. Also handle button action. Let me uh, implement it using set on actions. Then I will use handle color picker method later on. So here we can add uh, action events. So let's say color picker, set on actions. Implement action events. That means we have to implement a handler, sorry, a handle method. So let me import event handler. Here I'm going to implement handle method. Let me uh, put some comments. Idea is we can change the color for circle, uh, depends on whatever you pick up. So based on what you pick a uh, new color, it's going to change the color of the circle. So here color picker, we have a method called get value. That's it, that's the implementation of uh, color picker. Straightforward, quite easy to use. So here you go. Uh, let's change the color. Red, whatever you want, you can go to custom color. You can change, save it, change the value. You can select whatever you want. Let's close. Let's change the bit of a style of uh, color picker uh, control. 
Here, this is what we query as a default uh, combo box look. We can change to um, either uh, button looks or free button look. So let's use uh, button look. Color picker. Get style class. And then uh, we can add. According to color picker class, we have a constant value for style, coded as a style class button. Let's have a look. Looks slightly different. It looks like a button. Details are exactly the same. Let me make a comment. There's another one called as a split button look. So same color picker, get style class. Then add. And then color picker class has a style split button constants. So uh, looks slightly different. Okay, but it works exactly the same. Also, we can use uh, handle color pico methods instead of using uh, set on actions. So you can just copy line number forty-three, make a comment. Clean and build and run it. It works exactly the same. I think um, that's all. Thank you.